أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الله عز وجل gave us a life in which to see the holy month of Ramadan and like a flash that holy month is going and that month opened with the revelation to Sayyidina Muhammad Iqra Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Iqra Bismi Rabbika Alladhi Khalaq The reality that wants to be conveyed is that our life is about seeking Allah's Divinely Knowledges and the order that came to Prophet was not to hear it's time to hear but Allah iqra that read. Read in the name of your Lord means that these six verses from Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem and to the first five verses that reveal to Sayyidina Muhammad these are the keys to opening the heart. And that understanding in our life is that the seeking of knowledge is supreme. The seeking of knowledge is supreme in our life of what Allah giving the risalat and the opening of rahmatan lil alameen, the greatness of what can't be imagined as a mercy towards all creation. Every created planet and universe is under that mercy of the arrival of Sayyidina Muhammad and the beginning of the revelation. A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitan Rajeem, seek refuge in Allah that has its realities of being in the refuge of whom Allah has granted a refuge. So it means there is a secret there. There is a name in which Allah want to reveal and to each a different darajat, the name that coming to Prophet to begin to recite for his heart to open is not going to be the same that been given to us for our hearts to open. So it means they want to understand that there is a secret in that, Allah the alam al bil qalam. Now here's the ocean of reality. Allah began to inspire that, we're going to teach you by the qalam that I'm going to teach you by the pen and I'm going to teach you that which you knew not. Means that in our life and that's why awliya came into our life and taught us the pen is mightier than the sword. That your way is not to fight to get to Allah your way is through knowledge. The way of realities is through knowledge and that qalam is going to open every reality. One is that what was taught to Prophet when Allah gave the sharat that begin to read means put your tawajjo, put your focus on what Prophet knew what to focus. With what name Prophet began his tawajjuh, his, his vision and his nazar upon that Allah was beginning to open. Alam bin Qalam is that Allah going to teach you by the pen. That reality of, of Alam bin Qalam is that what we are seeking of these realities of knowledge is a knowledge that written upon the soul. As Salaamu Alaikum, we hope that you're enjoying the video inshallah. Just a request that you help us continue to make such amazing Islamic content inshallah. Share this video with your friends and loved ones, subscribe to the channels and donate. Every bit helps. Jazakallah khair and we will return to the program.
what's written upon the soul it directly affects the physical and the spiritual. And when Allah says, we're going to teach you by the pen that means our life is about carrying a pen. And you carry a pen in every worthless class that you have taken in your school and you spend a hundred thousand dollars for that degree and in the end you can't come out and get a job. For that you wrote everything. For every haqqaiq you write nothing. What's happening in your mind? When Allah is alam bil qalam, didn't alam bil computer, alam bil smartphone, alam bil aqal <laughs> by your, your philosophy in your brain, it's by your qalam. So then awliya come into our lives and says, if you're a seeker of reality you should have a qalam. And by having that qalam we said many times before but we'll try one more time tonight is that, that as soon as you hold a pen there's a reality that Allah going to open. Allah just says, bin qalam means that I'm going to give you the power of kun fayakun with this hand as soon as you write what's been inspired, Allah inspired to you, draw a circle. As soon as you draw a circle, you go and make it. You have the ability through this qalam and through this finger and through this thumb to manifest what Allah what is hidden within the heart of the believer. Allah can make that to manifest by the power of the qalam. Means by the power of the qalam, the power of manifestation, the beginnings of the understanding of kun fayaqun. How many awliyaullah wrote what nobody knew? It's coming into their heart. Itaqullah wa alimukumullah says, have a sense of taqwa means purify your character and everything about yourself. I teach you. Alamahu shadeed al quwwa. When we're saying, Ummi, 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 and then some people come and say, Unlettered Prophet of God. Oh, be careful in your understanding, Ummi. For the one who has uloom al awwaleen wa akhireen and that the holy soul of Prophet is lahul mahfuz. All the paradises and heavens are in the light of Sayyidina Muhammad All knowledges, all fountains, all realities are flowing through Prophet Ummi means that the alif and the meem there's nobody in between. And Allah says, I want to clarify that this meme is taught by one very powerful, the creator of all the universes is teaching Sayyidina Muhammad That reality unimaginable, once you begin to understand there's a secret on your hand. Each finger has a reality, that reality and lights that are coming from that finger, your shahada finger is the light of your soul come into the dunya to bear witness to your belief and your thumb is your unique identity. For Allah I'll raise you with your thumbprint. Whatever Allah bestowed upon your soul of what you would attain, of what knowledges you would obtain of who you would meet and what realities those people have and what you would be bestowed upon of those haqqaiqs, those are the sustenance of your soul all exactly written. But who achieves that reality are very few. These ulul am and the custodians of the kawthar, the custodians of knowledge, the custodians of haqqaiq as soon as they 
we can teach these are haqqaiqs and lights that are flowing from the heart. And the only way you can capture them is by what Allah ordered. Allah says, Alam bil qalam that my way from beginning of this day to the end of judgment day, you achieve nothing without that qalam. If you don't understand its haqqaiqs, you just imitate until they begin to teach you its reality. Don't innovate, imitate. When Allah says, I'm going to teach you by the pen, if your provision is not coming and you still don't have a pen, how stubborn can you be? Because it shows there's an arrogance in the character. I don't need to learn from you, you don't even pronounce things correct. Okay, don't learn. You sit here, we sit here, we sit 25 years and nothing will open because the order is from Allah. Levels of the Heart, Lataif al Kalb by Shaykh Nurjan Marahmadi. There are subtle energies and realities that are dressing the heart. This unique masterpiece invites readers from all faiths to step forward and begin the process of unveiling the true spiritual realities within their own hearts. that reality, alam bil qalam means put your pen onto a paper. As soon as you put a pen onto a paper, you're writing these haqqaiqs. When you write alif, the shaykh says alif, you write alif, that alif now has an entire reality, has malaika assigned to it. As soon as they start to talk about the haqqaiq of alif, lam, mim, the angel's writing and the weight and the reality of what the angel is writing is unimaginable. And the one from the physicality may not understand what the realities are but the angels understand. And what they're writing upon the kitab is bringing a tashrif and a respect to that servant because that servant now is a custodian of the heavenly realities of haqqaiqs, of the Muhammadan realities. Not his phone and not his tape recorder, but what brings an owner to the servant is what's written upon his book. As soon as he provides an action, it's written upon the book and burned into the heart, burned into the heart. And so that that one becomes a custodian and what made Prophet the knowledge of Prophet propagated was the companions were writing. They write all our, all our hadiths are from the companions. Our holy book the companions wrote. Prophet bring the realities, the companions wrote the realities. As they wrote the realities, he dressed them. Kiram and Qatibin means what make them to be the noble scribes or the noble realities that are written upon those pages that brings the angels and nobility. Imagine it what it brings its sahib and its owner. When the owner's book is filled with haqqaiqs of his shaykhs, means every talk the shaykhs spoke, we were writing, 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 writing until the books became heavy with realities. We described many times, when that book becomes heavy with realities, Allah changed the whole sustenance for that person. That person is no longer a normal person walking down the street. They are the custodians of heavenly realities. The angels that guard that one must be changed. 
the sustenance coming to that one must be changed. If their spiritual sustenance is all changing, imagine then their physical sustenance, everything changes. And then their books are heavy with haqqaiqs and they become custodians of the hope. All these realities of Prophet Ahlul Bayt and Ashab and Nabi are coming by inspiration when they see the servant of reality is in the correct uniform of reality. If he's a student of reality, his uniform, his primary tool is his pen, not his brain that he read 50 other books and of no value. Because if you don't write the shaykh's knowledges and all you're doing is reading other people's knowledges, your knowledge becomes a kalipache. It becomes mixed with this one, mixed with that one, mixed with this one. Say, so make one good Quraysh. I say, I don't know, I read this book from here. I took a few notes from this guy here and I just threw it all together and I don't know what it is. No. The way of haqqaiq, the way of realities is that that shaykh is going to begin to convey. If you don't have the tools that show that you're prepared for the conveyance, then you're not taking that position of one whom going to be bestowed knowledges upon. means whom is sending these haqqaiqs, if the one who's asking to be a student and to receive them but not in the uniform of that, more in the ego of it that, oh I already know these things, I don't know what you're talking about. I take a couple of your words, I'll add twenty of my words and I make a complete rubbish out of whatever you just said. It's not that. As soon as you write it, as soon as it's in your book, you go back and look at your book and you can see exactly what the shaykh, shaykh was conveying. At that time it's burned upon the heart. If he wants he can expand every word of that knowledge. When we would read Mawlana Shaykh's book from our notes, every word can be expanded with tafakkur that he goes deeper into that reality. But it was cheap by the pen and then what Allah describe of that pen, I'm going to teach you the realities that you didn't know. All of that coming from that, that's Hatul Dunya. This is still just the dunya. Alam bin Qalam now in Malakut. Qaf wal Qur'an in Majeed. Lam is the lisan al haq to the mean. So anytime we're seeing Qul, Nothing can, nothing can hold all. There's no angel that can take Allah's speech. So Allah says, if I, when Allah speaks in Qur'an, if I speak to the mountain it will be dust. There's no angel that can take that all. So then Allah describes this qalam al-qudra, the pen of the heavens is a divinely speech to the me. The mim is like the pen coming down. When Allah teach, He's teaching to Sayyidina Muhammad every reality is ulum al awwaleen wa akhareen and as much as the universes are expanding, as much as Allah is conveying to Prophet As much as you're imitating that reality, you're imitating Qul Ya Muhammad. Qul Ya Muhammad This pen is the imitation from Allah's divine speech to Prophet When you imitate this reality and you live your life that you're respecting the words of Sayyidina Muhammad you're respecting the haqqaiq of Sayyidina Muhammad and you're not putting your brain and your ego in the way thinking you know something. The ihtiram of Prophet is that it's an imitation, this qalam is one day going to open into its reality. Awliyaullah they don't take from here, 
they take from the Qul Ya Muhammad Then when Prophet began to open to them because they imitated their whole life with that qalam, the imitated qalam goes in the real qalam. Because they showed an ihtiram and a respect and love for Prophet When they kept the, the owner of Prophet this when we say tahzim and nabi it's not only the mafid but every haqqaiq of Qur'an is in reference to Prophet when we imitating that way, imitating that way, Ya Rabbi I'm, I'm writing, I'm writing these haqqaiqs for the tashrif and the respect of Prophet When I imitate with that pen, Allah open the reality of that pen. And the angels begin to fill the heart of the believer with knowledges that they didn't know and raise their owner by those knowledges and begin to change all their books and their reality and all their sustenance. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. If money could just grow on trees, there would be no need for this message. Since it doesn't, let us show you where your generous donations are going. We film, edit, and produce weekly television shows of divinely knowledge throughout Canada and the UK, as well as live stream internationally on Facebook and YouTube. Sheikh Nurjan's ever-growing online presence is the result of continuous financial input and with your financial assistance and participation, this rapid growth will continue. Our Muhammadan Way app is continuously being upgraded and improved, providing an all-encompassing Islamic guide. In addition to the Muhammadan Way app, NurMuhammad.com is a website of immense knowledge and comprehensive Islamic teachings that is updated daily. Your ongoing support also enables a team of editors to compile books of heavenly wisdom from Sheikh Nurjan's teachings. One of our longest ongoing initiatives has been to provide basic necessities to the most in need worldwide. From feeding people in Vancouver's downtown east side, to clothing LA's homeless community, and supporting a children's orphanage in Pakistan. Your ongoing donations will help us continue to spread the love and example of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. Become a shareholder in immense blessings. NurMuhammad.com forward slash donate.